All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson five. And in this lesson, we are giving students yet another way to represent a two digit number. And this time we're talking about quick tens and quick ones. And the idea is, I'll show you on the next slide, to use those quick tens and quick ones to quickly, thus the name, uh, represent two digit numbers. So let's get started. So if we wanted to represent the number 24, the way we would represent it using quick tens is here's our 20, and then here's our 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's really straightforward like that. Nothing overly fancy. So the idea is these are quick references to those um, uh, rods, those base 10 rods of 10 cubes stuck together. And then these are the ind representations of like the individual cubes. So there's our quick 10 version of 24. Now, if I wanted to, and I wanted to say, well, what would 10 more look like? Well, let's get going with, well, we'd first recreate that 24. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's our a recreation of the 24, and if I want to add 10 more, I would just simply drag in another 10. So that, boom, there it is. There's our 34. And so parents and teachers, an idea of what you can do is you can say, well, let's set up a number. There, there's my number, 22. And then the idea could be you could play a game with your students. You could say, well, now what do I got? Oh, 32. Now what I got? Oh, 22. Now what I ha what do I have? Oh, it's 21. Now what do I have? 31. Now what? 32. Now what? 33. And the idea is you could remove, add and remove a 10 or add or remove a 1 and let your students just kind of count up and down by 10s and up and down by 1s. So we're going to just put that to practice using our quick tens and ones to show the number. So it says one more than 38. So the first thing we're going to do is represent what 38 looks like. And so the first thing is 38 is going to look like this. One, two, three, there's our ten, uh, 30. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my 38. And then it says one more than 38. So I'm going to add one to that. So what is that going to look like? Well, it means we're going to have our three tens still, but now instead of having eight units, eight ones, we're going to have nine ones. So it's going to look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there you go. Now, if we wanted to show 10 more than 38, well, we would start off with 38 again. So he, there's my 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my 38. Now, if I want to draw 10 more, add by 10. So I'd have to recreate the 38. There's 30, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my 38, and then 10 more would simply be, I would just add one more rod, or quick 10, add one more quick 10. So let's go back, one more than 38, 39, because our picture right here says so. 10 more than 38 is 48, because my picture right here says so. Drawing some more quick tens and ones to show the difference, only this time we're going to be t talking about less than. So we're going to start with that 23. So here is my quick tens and ones to show 23. And then if I want to do 10 less than 23, that means I'm going to go back and recreate my 23, but I'm going to cross off a 10. And so what are we left with? We're left with 13 because our picture right here says so. I'm left with 110 and three ones. Again, if we wanted to do one less than 23, so I'm going to start with 
quick tens. One, two, three. There's my 23. And then one less. So I'm going to subtract by one. So I'm going to start with my quick tens and quick ones of 23. What am I going to cross off? I'm going to cross off one of these little units. And what are we left with? Well, we're left with two tens and two ones, so it's 22. So parents and teachers, what we're doing is we're allowing our students the idea of counting up and down by tens and up and down by ones. And here, this slide is just basically we want our students to represent and connect this phrase with one of these pictures. For example, one more than 23, we want students to see that as 24, and that's going to, oh, boy, that's easy. That connects right there. How about up here? One less than 30. Well, one less than 30, that's actually kind of tricky. That's 29. So I need to look for 29. So I'm going to be looking for something with lots of ones. And there it is, actually two tens and then nine ones right there. So that means these guys go together. And you get the idea. We're going to connect the phrase on the right with the picture on the left. And that wraps up first grade module four, lesson five, where we're now using quick tens and quick ones to represent numbers. And then we are using those quick tens and quick ones. So if we wanted to add by 10, we would simply just add another 10, and we now suddenly have 36. And that's the idea of this lesson.